Yo. Hi my beautiful bubbles, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to make an animated Roblox character slash intro using the old version of Blender. Probably you have the newest version, which is like 2.8, and I have no clue how to use this. So I'm going to be showing you guys how to make one with 2.7 or 2.79. And here is how to download that, because a lot of you guys have no clue how to do that. So here's how you do it. So I will have a link in the description to the site where you download the old version of Blender. But what you want to do is you want to go here to download Blender 2.7 and it will bring up this page, which could look confusing. So first off, you want to know what type of computer you have, a Linux, a Mac, a Windows. And after you find out what type of computer you have, which would be pretty simple, you want to download a zip file or whichever type of file you want, a DMG, an M MSI, but personally, I'm going to download a Mac OS zip. And you download it onto your computer. After that, you should open it up and the old version of Blender will be on your computer. Now that we're started, I expect that you know how to make a normal GFX, not an animation, just a normal GFX, either with Cycles Render or Blender Render. So you can use either one. Um, I suggest if your computer is kind of, you know, slower using just regular render, but if it's a fast processor, then I suggest using cycles because that's what I'm going to be using, um, but it doesn't really matter. First off, of course, just do all the normal stuff and import your avatar. So after you imported it, we're going to want to change some stuff over here under camera. So you don't want to make it transparent, probably not, because I don't think that will work. You want to change instead of PNG to ABI G JPEG, is that how you say it? And then what you want to do over here above that is TMP, you want to click on this little file thing and you want to choose where you're going to save it. For me, I'm going to save it under downloads. We're going to press accept. So that is how you decide where it's going to save after you're done. That is very important because you're not just going to export it like you do for a normal GFX. It's going to save automatically and you're going to select where it saves. So next we're going to want to go to camera because that's where I usually go to make these and you press shift F to move and then WASD and I'm going to position the camera right in front of my avatar. Again, I suspect that you know how to make a normal GFX and if you don't, please go watch my other two tutorials on how to do it. Okay, so let's get into animating. What's really important about animating is the time frame. So that's what's really important. You want to pay attention to these lines because they're going to be showing you like the marks between different moves. So first thing what you want to do, this is important. You want to click this little red dot. You want to make sure you click that and you're going to select whatever you want to move. For example, I want to move this arm, so I'm going to select it. And what you want to do, you want to set a base for where it starts. So I'm going to have my arm start here. So I'm going to click one of these arrows. So there's a little yellow small mark there because you really want to make sure there's a mark between each movement you do or else it will just all be messed up. Next what you want to do is you want to take this green thing and you want to move it along. Depending on how far it is is the distance of time between each movement. So I'm usually just gonna do two boxes and that's like kind of fast, but at the same time like a good pace. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna move my arm and as you can see, it is animated. So next what I wanna do is I wanna move the head. So of course for this you press shift and I'm gonna select all of the parts of my head. What we're gonna do again is we're gonna make sure it knows where to start. I'm gonna move this time to three I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna animate the head looking this way. So now it moves both my arm and my head. So a lot of people ask me, how do you move the camera? It's very simple. You just simply select the camera frame and I'm going to want to move just once so it knows where I start. So we're gonna start it there so it knows where I start it and I'm gonna move it along this way but this time it's going to be really far because i want the camera to move really slowly so i'm going to move the camera this way and that's where i want it to end so now as you can see 
it's slowly moving. So next I want to show you how to kind of stop the recording so it doesn't render as long. So what you want to do is you want to take this green thing to wherever you want it to stop recording. Basically, if you're having it animate all the way to here, don't don't stop recording there because it's not going to record the rest. You want to make sure it's after all your animation is done. And then you can stop it. So I'm going to stop it here at basically 90 and it says 90 here. We're going to change the end to 90. Now this is all gray. Um, that way it knows where to stop. So if you press play, it knows where to stop. So this next part of course is optional depending on what you want to do. But what I want to do is change the background because I don't want a gray background. So I'm going to go over here to world and I'm going to change the coloring of it by pressing this little color thing. And I'm going to change it to like that peachyish color slash red. And that's going to be the background color when I render it. So next, this is really easy. You just go up here to render and then go to render animation and voila, it starts to render. So there you go. <laughs> okay, so now that it's done rendering, here is the final product. I hope this video helped you guys. I'm sorry if I made no sense. I tried to repeat myself a lot so it would kind of get to you guys um, and you guys would understand it more. But if it did not, just please rewatch the video because maybe you missed a few steps or something didn't make sense at first but if you do want to watch different tutorials i will leave links in the description so you guys can get different ideas from different people how to do it and also i just want to apologize that it took forever for me to get this video out here i know you guys have been waiting for legit months for me to post this so here it is and i'm really sorry it took so long anyways thank you guys so much for watching today's video leave a like and subscribe for more and i'll see you all later bye my beautiful bubbles Thank <laughs> you.